welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for tuning into our channel. If this is the first time you're watching, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber or watcher, welcome. We do appreciate you that you're continuously watching our videos. And we would also appreciate it if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. We'll really, really appreciate it. We're working on getting to 3,000 subscribers. And so anyway, my name is Edna. We are a family of six. I have four kids and we just built our fully custom home in North Carolina. So I've had a lot of requests um, to see inside my refrigerator. And so since I went grocery shopping, I decided to organize it and then give you guys a tour of um, our refrigerator. And so I'm going to first wash our fruit. So I have a lot of fruits that I need to wash before I put them in there. I have my grapes. Um, I also have some red grapes. I have some strawberries. These are all from Costco. And I have apples from Costco. And I have some cherries from Costco. So what I'm gonna do is wash these fruits. So I'll start with the fruits first. Um, I basically wash them with baking soda. And sometimes I put a little vinegar, but today I'm just gonna do baking soda. And so what I did first is I washed my sink. I thoroughly washed my sink with a natural cleaner. And then I also disinfect it with a natural cleaner. So this is the disinfectant uh, spray that I use to um, basically sanitize my sink. So I'm gonna dump all the fruits in there and then I'm gonna wash them. And so you guys get to see how I wash my fruits. So hold on. I do make sure to clean my sink with a natural cleaner and I also disinfect it with a natural disinfectant um, cleaner. And then I then wash my fruits with baking soda. Sometimes I do add vinegar, but today I just use baking soda and I let it sit for 15 minutes in my sink. And then that's when I take them out and I dry them. So in my house, we do eat a lot, a lot of fruits. Grapes are one of my kids' favorite, favorite things to snack on, and which they do snack on all day. So this amount of fruit lasts me the whole week. Um, because my kids use them for snacks. So I make it easily accessible. So I put all the fruits and vegetables in our main refrigerator so my kids can use it for snacks throughout the day. I have two of my kids that just started school so they also um, take a lot of fruits to school when I pack their lunch. And so it is convenient when I separate everything and put them in these clear containers. It makes it easier for my kids to get them. And also it makes it easier when I'm packing lunch um, to have it easily accessible to pack their lunch. Okay, so I let it sit for um, 15 minutes and so I'm gonna rinse them out and put them in here to start drying.
So these clear containers that I'm using, I bought them from Marshalls and Home Goods. I've had them for over a year now, but Marshalls and Home Goods and TJ Maxx still sells them a lot. And these baskets that they come in does come in handy, especially when you put them in the refrigerator while they're wet. Um, it helps it drain the water out. So it's good to have these baskets. And so what I do sometimes, I put them in the basket and when I feel they dry, I take them out of the basket and put them back in the refrigerator. So in the beginning, you'll see I'll have them in the basket, but later on at the end, I do end up taking them out of the basket and just leave them inside the clear container once I see that they are dry. But these baskets, do they are really, really convenient to use. the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy, heavy. I need communication, tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7, every other second Just to make sure we were up to date now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay As you can see this water is brown so that's why it's really important to clean your fruits before before you eat them and using the baking soda does help remove any like pesticide or anything that's in your fruits and so make sure to always clean your fruits before before you eat them so now I'm just cleaning my sink again with the disinfectant cleaner uh, before I start working on my apples. And so that's what I'll be doing. Now I'll be doing my apples. And I'll also let the apples sit for 15 minutes in the water, the baking soda water. All I need is you saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Better nights, better days when you're here with me, babe. Cause you're all I crave, so I wonder. When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you'll be Cause I gotta know This is what I fixed so far those are cherries, so I'm waiting for them to dry. They look like they're almost dry. I actually think they're dry. And we have some strawberries. We have some grapes and apple. The apples are still wet, but um, it looks like these are dry or they're almost dry. So I'm gonna show you guys my refrigerator. I all right, you guys, this is my refrigerator. 
This is the refrigerator side. I finished cleaning, so it's already cleaned, and I took everything out. I didn't have too, too many things in here, but this is the refrigerator when it's empty. The freezer, I have not taken things out yet, so it looks crazy. This is my freezer, and so I'm gonna also straighten up the freezer. This is what it's looking like right now. So I gotta get this all organized. I don't have meat. I don't really keep meat in this freezer. I have another freezer that I keep my meat in. So there's not a lot of meat in here. These are like more like vegetables and fruits, fries, um, things like that. So I don't have a lot of meat in this refrigerator in this freezer I have another freezer that I keep my meat in but I just wanted to show you guys how it's looking like before I put everything back in so. watching thank you thank you thank you for watching our videos we do appreciate it and we would also appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe to our channel we are working on making it to 3,000 subscribers so we would really really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and comment below let us know what was your favorite part of the video and also please hit that like button we would really really appreciate it i hope you guys are having a wonderful day whatever day you're watching or if you're watching at night i hope you guys are having a great night The
end of the weekend But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wanna back so my battery died um I, so i just went in and finished the refrigerator so i'll show you guys that once i'm done with the freezer so right now what i'm doing is organizing the freezer um i cleaned it out so it is empty so this is the freezer I went and cleaned it out. So basically it's the same size as the refrigerator. So what I'm gonna do is organize the freezer so you guys can see and then I'll show you guys um, the finished product of the refrigerator. So usually when I do my frozen fruits, I put them inside Ziploc bags, then put them inside this container which makes it easier when we're doing our smoothies. We just pop a bag and dump it in there, which makes it easier to come out. But then I realized when I was doing this, I did not have any Ziploc bags. I did not realize we ran out of Ziploc bags. So I just dump them in this container. And what I do is I put my freezer in a high temperature. Because I don't have any meat in my freezer, I'm able to keep it at a high temperature, which makes, it, which, which makes the fruits don't get as frozen if it was on a low temperature. And so basically uh, that helps when we're making smoothie to make it easier for the fruits to come out. But normally I do put them in individual Ziploc bags to make it easier to put them inside our mixture when we're making smoothies. Don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed and I have to know, say so hard to reach just pick up your phone tell me where you be cause i gotta know let me know when you're ready cause i made reservations too many invitations and the last night was heavy, heavy. i need communication tell me where's your location used to talk 24 7 every other second just to make sure we were up to date now it's closer to 11 and i ain't hearing nothing i just need to know that you're okay summer so we do have uh, a lot of ice cream and popsicles but yeah my kids go through those like crazy because they eat them all day but if you guys like to have acai bowl I usually buy these packets from Costco which makes it easy to make your acai bowl 
um, using a blender and so if you're interested in making acai bowls these are a good packet to buy from Costco to make those I ran out of clear containers so I decided to just use these baskets to put these in um, but normally I would just put them in a clear container which I think I still have them some more in my storage but um, next time I'll probably just put these inside a clear container but these baskets came in handy um, I put the popsicles in these baskets and I also put my acai bowl packets in these baskets so um, these are other reasons if you don't use the baskets uh, or you can set them aside or you could just use them for popsicles or any other little things to put in the freezer it does help keep the freezer organized instead of popping the bag of uh, popsicles in there or popping the bag of acai bowls in there it's great to separate them and just put them in there it's easy access they just go in pick them out of the basket and enjoy as you can see i have a lot a lot of room in this freezer this freezer already come organized it comes separated it gives you a lot of room to really organize your items and i have so much room that i don't even have enough stuff right now to fill it up if you do have a big family, this is a great, great, great refrigerator and freezer um, to get. And also, it does have an ice maker. One of those baskets, it does um, have ice. I did throw up all the ice that was in there, but it does have an ice maker. That drawer right there is actually keeps your ice cream soft. So that's why I put the ice cream sandwich and those ice cream strawberry popsicles in there. And also the the ice cream because it does keep your ice cream really soft it is so convenient that you get fresh ice cream it feels like all right guys i am finished for now i'm gonna show you guys the free the refrigerator first hopefully the lighting is good this is it so i have my kombucha drink on top my eggs little snack I only have like two packets of them so I put them up there I have yogurt I have my kids drinks right here um, I have lunchable for my kids we have milk we drink a lot of milk within a week so we have a few gallon of milk and the, these are the fruits that I washed and over here, I put the meat, and I have cheese, I have bacon right here, and down here is where I put some vegetables. I have my spinach, carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, lime, and lemon. Down here, I have my apples oranges and bell peppers and if you come over here i have butter oh let me clean the screen right here i have my cream cheese butter and guacamole packets over here i have Condiments, a lot of condiments, salsas, pickles is like a coleslaw. I have my orange juice, more milk, so chocolate almond milk, lime juice, more milk, and down here I have more condiments, more condiments, more condiments down here. So. That is the refrigerator. And I think, I think that's it for now. There's probably more stuff. There's more stuff. I have two refrigerators, so I do have some stuff in the other refrigerator. Not a lot. I think the only thing that's missing here is apple juice that I have in the other refrigerator. And I'm not sure, but this is basically it. My kids started school this week. Two of my kids started school this week. So a lot of this stuff is for me to fix their lunch. All right, so let's go to the freezer. So the freezer does not have a lot of stuff. <laughs> 
So I ran out of container for the freezer. So again, it's mostly fruits right now to do my smoothie. I have my frozen vegetables, so I want more of these containers. I need to go get more of these containers. I think I have some in my storage. And so if I do it before I upload this video, I show you, I'll show you guys, but I'm gonna put the, the frozen vegetables inside these containers and the vegetable is gonna go up there. And so I ran out of container, so I put, I used the trays to put my kids' popsicle and these to make my acai bowl. And I have some frozen vegetables back there. And so once I get more containers, I'm gonna put these inside a container. And here is made for soft, is a soft freezer drawer. So it keeps your ice cream soft. And so I just added my kids ice cream sandwich and popsicle in here so they could taste not frozen not too frozen so as you can tell it is empty right now here <laughs> I um, I don't put meat in here I put meat in the other freezer so here's um, I don't have a lot of stuff in this freezer as you can tell um, I do need to go shopping. I went to Costco, so I did my big bulk shopping, but I have not done my small shopping yet. So if I do, I'll probably vlog my next shopping trip. So then you guys will see me put away so you'll see how much more stuff I put in here. But I don't have much stuff here either. So I have my turkey burger that I got from Costco, freeze pops for the kids this summer, and their Eggos are right here. And as you can tell, it is empty so that is it for the freezer and i'm actually gonna add some water i just realized i forgot to add my kids water bottles because they need it for school so i'm gonna put some small water bottles right quick All right, this is it. I just add some small water bottles because I put that in their lunch box and I have to go pack for lunch, pack lunch for them right now. And so I need them to get a little cool. So in the morning, I could just put them in their lunch box. But y'all, you know, I know a few people have been requesting to see my refrigerator. It's not full full. And I have not used all these drawers yet. We've only been here for like what uh may june july um two and a half months we've been here and so it hasn't been really filled filled up yet i still need to go do some more grocery shopping but this refrigerator is a pretty pretty good size refrigerator so if you don't know this is two refrigerators put together to make it look like one so i bought the refrigerator separately and then I bought the freezer separately and then I bought this kit that comes down the middle um, here to make it look like one big refrigerator so it basically gives me space to not have to cramp stuff together and then when you come in here you'll be able to see exactly what's in here it gives you so much room that you're able to see exactly what's in here. So that's why I decided to um, choose this refrigerator because it really allow me to not have to cramp things in here. And then I could do my bulk shopping and just fill it up um, for the week. And so um, this is it. And um, so next, I'm not sure when that'll be, but I will organize my pantry. I'll show you guys my pantry and I'll show you guys my other refrigerator, which basically has meat in it and then anything extra is in the other refrigerator. And so um, this is it. I just wanna say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my refrigerator organization. It's 
skills. It's not that great, but that's it. Oh, this lights are enough. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like um, this video. And um, if you want to, I could link this refrigerator in the description. It is a Frigidaire Professional and it is two refrigerators. Um, so one is full-size freezer and a full-size refrigerator that my we put together to make it look like a, a big refrigerator. And so I bought it actually way before um, we're done building and so i bought it probably about purchased it 18 months ago and then they delivered it when my house was done so it actually was less expensive 18 months ago and now i saw the price went way up than what i paid for it but i think if you are doing a custom build and you're able to make that room in your kitchen i would say go for it this refrigerator i think works for if you have a big family we are a family of six and I do always have people coming over. And so it does help for me to not have to go grocery shopping multiple times a week. So it gives me space and I also have an extra refrigerator in my pantry. But I do like the way this refrigerator is because it actually gives me space to not cram stuff in. But anyway, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would like, please, please would really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and check out all our videos. Thank you for watching. You guys have a good day. Bye.